Welcome to a video session review of the pancreas histology. The pancreas contains two different types of glandular tissue. It has an exocrine component, which constitutes the 98% of the pancreas, and an endocrine component, which represents 2% of the glandular tissue. Both of them allows the organ to perform two different functions. The stroma is composed mostly by a capsule. The capsule is a connective tissue that covers the exterior surface of the pancreas. This capsule extends into the inner portion, dividing the pancreas into lobules and lobes. It also contains blood vessels and nerve tissues such as parasympathetic ganglion cells. The parenchyma is made up of different structures. One of them is the pancreatic lobule, which is composed mostly of acinar tissue. Islets, islets of Langerhans and a pancreatic duct branch are also present. Exocrine component makes up the vast majority of the lobule. The functional unit of the exocrine pancreas is the acinus. Acini are organized collections of exocrine cells that surround a central lumen. These polarized cells have basophilic re rough endoplasmic reticulum at their base and eosinophilic granules at their apex. Acinar cells have peripherally located nuclei and abundant granular cytoplasm. They secrete a variety of active enzymes and inactive proenzymes into the acinar lumen. These secretion products are carried from the acinite to the duodenum via the ductal system. Proenzymes are then converted to active enzymes in the duodenum. Starting a sea of exocrine tissue are the islets of Langerhans, the functional units of the endocrine pancreas. The endocrine cells occur as irregular cores surrounded by fenestrated, fenestrated capillaries. In hematoxicillin and eosin stain sections, islets appear paler than their more abundant exocrine com counterparts. Islets contain four major types of endocrine cells, beta cells, which are the most common and secrete insulin, alpha cells, which are the second most frequent and secrete glucagon, delta cells, which secrete somatocytine, and PP cells, which secrete pancreatic polypeptide. All these cells are undistinguishable in an hematoxicillin and eosin um, stain. The pancreas also contains a ductal system. This ductal system is mainly surrounded by acinar cells. The acinar cell secretions are collected in the, in the acinar lumen and are transported to the duodenum through a series of progressively enlarging pancreatic ducts. Centrosinar cells are duct cells located within an acinus. Ducts start within an acinus and add into short intercalated ducts with a simple colloidal epithelium. Intralobular ducts are small ducts present within pancreatic lobules and drain into interlobular ducts. Interlobular ducts are larger ducts with simple columnar, stratified columnar, or stratified cuboidal epithelium supported by a thick layer of connective tissue. In review, pancreas histology may be divided into acini, islets, and ducts. Acinar cells make up the majority of the pancreatic lobules and are packed with densely organelles and basal nuclei. There are four types of islet cells, beta, alpha, delta, 
and punk PB cells. The pancreatic ducts are lined up by epithelium which ranges from cuboidal to columnar. They are present between lobules and they drain into the main pancreatic duct, which usually emerges with the common bile duct, just proximal to the ampulla of fatter. The side way where bile and pancreatic secretions like carbonate helps to neutralize the highly acid material entering into the duodenum from the stomach. This concludes our review of normal pancreas histology.